Hi guys, this is Lucas and we're back with the third tutorial of how to create a Fanta bottle. As you may have seen um, uh, from the first video, it consisted on how to model uh, the, the bottle itself and in this video I will show you how to texture it. So let's begin. So first of all, I will move the cap a bit up so that I have only the bottle. Now. Um, uh, I, I selected it in object mode and hold right click and go to assign new material and ch choose blend from this big list so the next thing is to hold right click and go to material attributes so that we can see some options of our material so the first thing is to choose an orange color like Fanta something like that and then obviously we have to make it bi a bit more transparent so we increase the transparency obviously this will be to your liking but uh, you obviously have to move on these uh, steps to make to make the bottle um, uh, transparent so as you can see we have a transparent bottle now which is orange as well like the Fanta itself now the next thing is to apply some uh, color to the t cap as well so hold right click on the cap assign new material and this time we are going to choose Lambert because uh, as you can see the Fanta cap is um, matte so it doesn't have some uh, light reflections on it so we choose Lambert and we have to choose the orange color the next thing is to apply some texture around the bottle so that uh, we include the wrapper so we're going to choose face mode and we're going to select all these faces that go around the bottle which will be covered with the wrapper so once you have selected all these faces that go around the bottle just hold right click go to assign new material and choose blend so that we have a separate uh, material of that part now the next thing is to go on this checkered box right here near color or, or obviously on the new material that we have just created and choose checker so that we can know uh, how the texture will going to be right now as you can see this is not going to be uh, very good because uh, the texture is stretched out so to deal with that we need to select the faces again and we have to go to create UVs and choose cylindrical mapping and as you can see, uh, the checkered boxes are already looking much better. And now, from this cylinder that comes up, we can move some things so that we make the checkered boxes more evenly spaced. Like that, they have to be somewhere squarish. So now, we have to do the cap as well. So, first of all, we're going to create a space so that uh, the texture will be put on it. So. Uh, we're going to use the interactive split tool this time because obviously from this um, uh, like wave we did from the first tutorial the insert edge loop won't work so this works to uh, by selecting an edge uh, by going on the center of it and clicking and it will put a vertex on it so after choosing all the edges press enter and now I'm going to select the whole edge and I'm going to scale it up something like that so that this is the space where the Fanta logo will be so I'm going to choose obviously these faces now like that 
I'm going to give them a new material Lambert from here I'm going to choose checker and as you can see the checkered boxes are not good so this time I'm going to obviously select them again like that and I'm going to do planar mapping so for for example if the planar mapping doesn't come like this it will come uh, it comes like something like this or like this just click this book uh, this box outlined box near planar mapping and choose the uh, y accessory like that and the checkered boxes will come um, uh, as required so the next thing is to go again on the wrapper and let's select those faces again if we go to uv texture editor we can see that the, uh, there are uh, these faces wrapped out so we just uh, select this but uh, this button move uv shell tool we just s drag and select all the shape and move it downwards if you have these in the middle just move this downwards and then select these and move them on the side so now once you have selected them select the scale tool and let's scale it down proportionally don't worry if the checker boxes come big obviously we have to insert it in this area we now have to go on polygons uv snapshot and we are going to browse in the images obviously in these fo all the folders in the images and we're going to select uh, uh, save it as a repair uv so that's okay 2080 by 2080 and as a png or, or if you want as an iff i'm going to use png so press okay that's done go and do the same thing on the cap and we're going to go on edit uvs uv texture editor i'm going to select um, these vertices right here i'm going to move these on the side and this right here okay so that's good now we go and do the same thing polygon and uv snapshot in the images i'm going to save um, cap uv as a png 2080 by 2080 i forgot to select the whole object and okay the next thing is to put the images on the uv mappings so i'm going to open photoshop open the images and I will just chuck them in right here so uh, to see the lines better just create a new layer put it underneath and color it with black like that as you can see there is the mapping the same goes for the other one like that so now we just have to insert uh, the image in where we want to so uh, here we are going to insert a fanta uh, logo on the cap so go on the source images let's insert the fanta logo right here if this comes small just check it in right here as a new file go on duplicate layer and select cap uv so put it in the center just hold alt to scale it proportionally and something like that should do if these bits come in just remove them with the eraser tool something like that So, so the 
cap texture is almost complete we just need to remove the lines and we have to grab the orange of the cap so I think this orange will do so print screen let's zoom in and grab that orange delete it and here we're going to color it with this orange so something like that so that the surroundings of the Fanta logo will not be black but they will be orange so we just save it so save as we're going to place it in the source image is important as a you uh, as a PSD don't worry and we're going to name it cap UV and save okay so the cap UV is ready the next thing is the wrapper so we just duplicate that layer in okay and something like that should do we're going to fit it in, in exactly in the UV like that on the top something like that should do now uh, to be safe we just obviously remove the lines and grab an orange from here and color the surroundings with that orange so that um, if something is a little bit showing from the black that won't matter now because it is orange so uh, we have to save it as well in the source images as a repair uv dot psd okay so once the faces are selected we go on assign new material and we choose Lambert again so that we create a whole new material uh, apart from that checkered box uh, checkered one because um, it will create us some problems if we texture on it so we create a new Lambert we go on the checkered box we choose now PSD file as you can see it turned white we choose the image and select cap UV and as you may have seen the Fanta logo is right here now if the orange doesn't match try to match it as much as possible but for this tutorial it's good we're going to rotate it a bit so that it is facing the right direction now the same goes for the wrapper we just select those faces we're going to go and assign a new material which is blin select ps the file select the wrapper uv and as you can see the wrapper was placed in its place I'm going to press 3 and press 3 I'm going to move that right there I think this is the end of this tutorial thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and hope you did the textures on your bottle as well don't forget to like and subscribe thanks again